guys be breastfeeding for the next seven years? Kenny, 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 welcome. another vlog in a day to life of moi of a stay at home mom full time blogger I'm going to be <laughs> popping on this wig this wig that you guys been loving yes you know I had to debut my girl in a video and just to see how you guys loving it and you guys were like um we need a video and I'm like I got you already on it <laughs> So this is the wig, super curly, love it, low maintenance, it's a headband wig, so here is what the headband looks like, and then it has clips, so we have one clip right here in the middle of your head, and then we have two clips that goes on the side, and then we also have one clip which is in the back of your knee of your head so we also for the headband it is velcro so you just do that and this is of quality very much quality so this is what the hair came in it has eula hair on the bag and i really like these it's very recyclable i can just put my um hair in it this is it came in here actually the way it came in here and then also in here so I always start from the back of my head and then I'll bring it up like so and the first clip I do is the front mm -hmm. so yeah we're good and then I start with the sides and I try to tug as much as I can not to give me a headache but to the point where it is um, not loose and it's secured. I'm going to place that last clip on the back of my nape, on my head. And now we're done. So you can definitely leave it like this. You don't have to do the whole baby hair stains or anything. This is very much throw on wig. But for me, I'm just going to slide this back a little bit so you guys can see my hairline. A little bit yeah. so next I'm just going to lightly dampen my hair with a random spray water bottle this is recycled you know we use, we use recycle over here uh, I'm just going to dampen it and this is to your liking and you know your preference mm. on how you would like your curly hair mm. I like mine slightly damp but with volume if that makes sense like it eventually dries out with a, like a little bit of volume but still very much defined and not like super fluffy and um frizzy I like mine's very much tame depending on if like I have like this it depends on like the look if I'm going glam very much tamed if it's just like a regular natural everyday look then of course I would have just left it how it was in the beginning I don't really like to add much product in my hair um, due to the fact that it just lasts longer and I don't have to like wash it as often but um <laughs> After I do wash, I go in with my Aussie Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner, and I will just spray a little bit of that. And I normally just um, use this for smell because this smells so amazing, and it literally defines your curls. Like I use this for Caden and scrunch, scrunch up my hair, like so. So if you guys want to save some coins on this wig and you're digging the style of this and they have different options as well you don't have to go curly they have a variety of options for your needs use ma'am for money off and I have the link down below in the description box for this link to this hair so happy shopping sis I'm really rushing right now to get ready um this morning has been extremely hectic like I swear, I wish I had like a nanny or assistant at this point. Okay, so I had to clean, reorganize, um, get Kaden and Bryson ready for breakfast, and then vacuum, tidy up, um, do my hair. I had to redo my hair. Um, now I'm doing my makeup, so uh, it's just really been a lot. 
I looked at my emails and my schedule today and I realized that Caden's evaluators for his speech therapy are doing a six month assessment today. And I literally forgot that I scheduled that. And here I am thinking that today was gonna be um, me getting ready, doing a video. I was gonna do a shapewear Faha video of like getting your stomach tight and your butt lifted. And, um, and then a hair tutorial. So I was gonna do that today. Yeah, so they're coming at 12. It's literally 11.30. Here I am doing my makeup, uploading a video to make sure it comes on at 12. Um, <laughs> make sure it uploads at 12 o'clock. And then they're coming at 12 o'clock. And then I have to be done by 12 o'clock. I have 30 minutes to get myself ready, to get Kaden ready. Uh, well, Kaden, all, all he has to do is just put on his clothes. And it's just a lot. And I'm... The old me would literally be drowned in anxiety. Like, of course I have anxiety, but it's not overpowering me. Like, I'm I'm maintaining that feeling. I'm not letting it control me. I'm acknowledging it. I'm not trying to be frantic, but, you know, I'm trying to move as fast as I can. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's just, it's it's really a lot. Like, I know you guys are about tired of seeing the same green shirt. <laughs> I am too, okay? But who, you are you washing my clothes? Okay. So, oh, what was I about to do? Okay. Oh, okay. Where did I just put it? Where did I put it? So I've been, I'm not even going to say I've been a terrible oh, vlogger sorry. because... So much stuff has transpired from the last time I talked to you guys and as you guys know I was juggling a lot and doing a lot and I'm finally I'm finally having time to just sit down I have a huge headache and I feel like I'm about to pass out I've been fasting for 20 20 to 22 hours and I'm extremely hungry like I can't I can't even move anymore and it's the fact that I have to cook food I have to cook food. I don't want to order. I, you just saw me do groceries. I um, go, went grocery shopping the other day. Um, I don't have the energy to keep going, guys. <laughs> My husband's been up since 7 o'clock. Um, I cooked breakfast for Kaden and Bryson. <laughs> Got Kaden <Kayden> ready. <laughs> Cleaned up, did my hair makeup, did my hair, uploaded a video. All this was in within like four hours, maybe three of when I was really trying to crunch down time because Caden evaluators came for his assessment, for a six month assessment for his speech therapy. And um, yeah, I was, I was like this on go, like this, <laughs> since I woke up and up to, up until the time they came. The evaluation was amazing. Kaden eventually warmed up to them. He was a little scared and timid, he obviously new people, but he eventually started playing with them and um, showing them, you know, they asked him everything to do and he did it, you know, as far as his evaluation and exceeded even beyond that. Cause you know, Kaden is a very smart kid. Um, uh, very knowledgeable and very intelligent so everything went great so um i filmed two videos for you guys i did, i'm sorry i didn't even film the behind the scenes for that i was just trying to hurry up mind you i filmed for 15 minutes and i wasn't even recording and i had to do it again hey right, guys so i'm all dressed <laughs> if you guys see this outfit don't talk me okay this is strictly for hannah and me doing content for instagram for pictures but i haven't worn this outside yet okay only you guys seen it okay only you guys seen it <laughs> so whoa Ooh. Ooh. kaden hey <laughs> so um we got his Climber set out from Lily and River. It's the same brand that did his table. I have his mat here. Also, I meant I meant to tell you guys this is a Lego mat. It comes with it, so you can put your Legos. It has the smaller Legos and the bigger Legos. So 
yeah. speech therapist has left already and everything was great fun I have a new homework assignment for um, Kaden for this week uh, she comes once a week on Thursdays and uh, yeah basically she comes for an hour we hang out we play um, you know go over some um, speech mechanisms to implicate for um, teaching Kaden so my homework this week is for Kaden to say more. So he's been learning new words from each session um, of me. I have to be very proactive with this. Like not only am I <laughs> teaching him regular stuff, but I have to keep implicating this. And it's like so hard at times because it's like, dang, I'm like a full on teacher. So while Hannah was here, I received two packages. I don't know from who because um, I'm expecting a lot of packages and yeah, I didn't know I was expecting any today, so she in. I thought I already got my sheet and packages. I guess this is the remainder. Okay. I'm not going to show you guys. You're going to have to wait for the haul. I'm just like peeking through. Okay, so yeah. So I guess that's the rest of the package. I'm, I have so many items from Shein. Like I'm, I'm trying not to get overwhelmed. I'm trying to stay excited and, um, like excited and hopeful and just like have a, a outlook on getting ready to con uh, create this video for you guys. So yeah, I'm excited. Like I really feel like I'm in a great place where you know juggling mom life and filming because. Before it was it was hard when I was going back into filming videos and I wasn't consistent. Kaden was like, uh, "What are you doing? Like this is not a part of routine. I don't know what you're doing, but can you stop?" So 
now that as time went on and he's understanding like this is a part of my routine and he's knowing like when I film, let's quiet down a little bit, he's been doing really great. So that gives me more motivation to keep going because it's not as hard as I pictured or it was in the past. He just needed some time to grow on him. Okay, okay, yay! Okay, ooh, okay, so I have a new wig. I'm not going to show you guys the wig in this video. It's probably gonna be in another vlog, or you're just gonna have to wait for the tutorial because I don't wanna clash the brands. Like, that's a competitive brand. This is sponsored by Eula Hair, so thank you so much, Eula Hair, for sponsoring this video. It means so much to me. Growth, we're on growth. Growth, like, we're all for growth. So, um, oh yeah, I just forgot to mention, I'm in my pajamas now, okay? I took my pictures that I need to take and got my content in. Again, if you guys seen that outfit in my snaps or stories or in a vlog, it don't matter. I didn't wear it out, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished editing the thumbnail to my new video that I'm going to be posting tonight at 8.50 p.m. You've probably already seen it. Um, yeah, it's basically me exposing the, the truth about my life and what happened with, you know. <gasps> so, yeah, ya tu sabe. You seen it, right? So, I think I'm about to um, order off Amazon, do some orders. I feel like, I just feel like shopping. Um, I need to shop for me. Amazon is currently giving me the runaround and I just want my package. You know what I'm saying? I ordered this late last night and it was supposed to be delivered here at 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. <laughs> it was in my area for like an hour, right near me. Hi, um, I just received a notification on my recent order that my package is late and to contact Amazon and for the longest the delivery driver was in my area like on the map and I was wondering like what was taking so long for my package to be delivered. There's no contact information to call the delivery driver. So is there a possible way I can get in touch with him so I can get my package? Motivation to like keep on the track of me waist training. I tend to like switch up my shaper items just so I'm not getting bored with them if that makes sense. I'm one of those people like oh, I'm wearing this again. It makes me bored, okay? So right now I'm wearing this waist belt. I'm gonna show you guys. I have this on right here. And this is what I got from the hospital when I had Caden for my C-section. This was like basically my postpartum wrap. And to this day, it just snatches me and I don't know, it just, it gets rid of that, that pudge. Like even though like I, I wouldn't be like consistent with this, like as soon as I go back to consistent with it, my pudge will be gone. Like it's just... It just snatches me up somehow. It's, I don't know if I'm still in postpartum period, but it snatches me up. So I'm going to be using this box and this to cut Bryson's hair. So that way all the hair goes in here. I normally put like a, a mat or a bag underneath when I cut Bryson's hair, but this is just gonna keep all the hairs together. Jaden's doing a good job vlogging right now. Jaden, vlog. Brace it. Up. Close it. Like that. No. Put it down. There you go. Day by day, Day by day, you got to take a little talk and you got to just get started. Alright, guys. 
Look at look at my baby boy. He's so cute. Oh, ow. Oh. He's so cute. Here, lay down, baby. Let's show them. Lay, lay down. High five. Good boy. So you want to high five me, but don't lay down. Okay, gotcha. All right, it's time for bath. I'm finally done with this. Literally took, it literally took me a whole hour to cut his hair. Now, um, Kaden and Bryson, well, I'm going to give Kaden a bath. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> so we are done cleaning Bryson. Lay down, Bracey. You guys, little cute little sweater on. Look at you. You ready? You spring ready? Yes, you are. You are spring ready, Papito. Um, I know I cut him low. It's just to give his hair room to grow out, so that way when it goes out to that length, like in next week, that will be like the length that I wanted to cut him, but. He's so cute. Yep. Yes, you yep. are. I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm like really, really exhausted and tired. Me bending over the tub, and then it was so hot in there. And then Kaden just wants to help so much, and he's like making the situation a little worse for Bryce. I'm just trying to keep him calm so he doesn't have anxiety. So, um, yeah, I am starving. I feel like it's the story of my life in every vlog. Oh, I am, I've been fasting forever and I need to eat because I just, uh, I, I, can't, I, I make sure everyone else is good before me. That's just the type of person I am, you know? At the end of the day, I look out for other people and put them first, so. But at the end of the day, I still be good, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is the normal time I'm about to start cooking anyway. It's just like I exhausted all that energy that I normally wouldn't do when I'm fasting. So I'm about to make some food. All right, guys, so I'm all done cooking our food for Kaden and I. I made this pasta roni with a chicken alfredo sauce with shrimp and broccoli yummy low carb too love it okay so hey everyone finished eating the food was bomb like i'm like it tastes like i got it from the restaurant sheesh man i wanted more but you know like my stomach and my body was like no girl you're full like the portion i gave myself was top tier so right now i'm just editing another vlog you probably already seen it that's just like my life i'm either filming editing or being with kaden and right now kaden is doing independent playtime while i take over the ipad kaden playing with his balls he just took out all his toys in his toy chest and put them all out so he's just playing with that right now You have to divide nine sweets equally. I think three goes on each plate. Good job. Wow. <laughs> this is first time playing this game. The fact that he understands how to divide sweets equally is it's astonishing, seriously. another day you know it's the next day if you guys didn't notice <laughs> fyi but um yeah let's do like a rundown of like what transpired yesterday and into today so last night um i worked out 
when Tatum went to sleep. Tatum went to sleep by like 8.30 p.m. You know, his schedule is always locked. You wake up at 8, you go to sleep at 8. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happened. And then after he went to sleep, I immediately got on my cycling bike and worked out. You know, worked out some calories, worked out some carbs. You know, got that booty fit, get that booty tight, get them. That I want, I want to grow my thighs so bad. Like I've been seeing progress with my thighs. I just, I just want definition and muscle so bad. I just feel like thighs are so sexy. Comment down below. What's your favorite body part? I want to know. What's your favorite body part? Yeah, so um, my favorite body part is definitely thighs and abs, like stomach. I, I want I want some abs too. That's what I want. I've been wanting abs all my life. I'm gonna get it. I'm I'm letting I'm letting the universe know I'm gonna get it. So yeah, um, this morning I woke up at six thirty a.m. for nine a.m. upload. Okay, so your girl was editing a vlog last night. I was done by like eleven thirty, twelve a.m. Went to sleep. We woke up at six thirty did the thumbnail did the tags did the description box did all that bam baby boy woke up at eight o'clock you know we did breakfast fed bryson and kaden you know we played a little bit and here we are so yeah um for today's itinerary bah, 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 bah. what are we doing today okay your girl has to do a afternoon workout i cannot work out tonight because your girl is going to be washing and doing her hair yeah yes the camera oh are you pointing outside which one because the windows are open so um yeah i have to wash my hair do my hair because i have a sponsored video so i have to do that tomorrow in the morning after i get ready so i'm just doing my makeup and then do the hair tutorial after that bam content is done and I also got to edit my shapewear video and edit this vlog right here that you're watching. So that way, I know my weekends are always pretty full with like family outings. And I don't want to like be working at nighttime when I can be like, you know, bonding with my family. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be 77 degrees and then 80 on Monday. So we're probably going to be going to a park doing something with baby boys. So that way he could be mingling with kids and working on his speech therapy. You know, these pandemic babies, bruh, bruh. And speaking of pandemic babies, um, a lot of you guys are saying like, when are you going to stop breastfeeding? How long are you going to be breastfeeding for? Are you going to still be breastfeeding when Katie go to school? I'm going to be breastfeeding for the next seven years. Psych! No, guys, I'm intending to stop breastfeeding literally this year. I'm weaning, I've been weaning him off. Like, breastfeeding is a process. Like, some people are able to just do cold turkey. I can't do that with Kaden. Like, Kaden it's 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 not like i feel like every child is different every family is different and i always say that like i would never like tell someone like oh this is what work for my chick kid why don't you try it i don't do that i listen to what people have to say like parents and you know families I had a different experience you know or this is what happened with kaden but i'm not sure it's going to work for you like that's how you kind of talk about and share experiences i feel like sometimes i know people come from a meaningful place some people but it's just like the words and the context of how you're um <laughs> you know telling the situation like it sometimes it sounds demanding like this is what you should do this is what you should stop i'm a grown woman guys and i've done a lot of research prior to having kaden and having while I was having Kaden like I'm always doing research as a parent I'm always learning I'm always growing I'm always experimenting what works for me what doesn't work for me so Kaden and I are about to do learning time I just created some templates for him to do tracing he does amazing on the iPad he's been doing tracing letters since he was 18 months old so um, I've been implicating it on paper now so that way he's get used to doing the same method on iPad now on paper so he's been doing great on that we're just gonna keep practicing and practicing until he's ready for school okay good job now bring it around okay good job D good job okay slowly focus on slowness okay it's okay you don't have to go fast and bringing it down.
Good job. Okay, do it again. That was not an E. Down, turn. Good job. And turn right there. Good job. Try again. Good job. Yeah, baby. Good job. All right, so I just got a package in the mail and I'm about to do an unboxing for you guys. I kind of opened up the first one because I was trying to figure out like what it was before I show you guys like something I wasn't supposed to show you yet because I got some like some stuff in the works. So with that being said, this is the, um, I have another body shape shaper work video to do. Um, obviously this is a different brand, so I couldn't like wait to put them all together, but this is another, um, brand deal that I have and I can, oh, oh my gosh, I can't wait to put this on. I'm going to show you guys what it is though. So I got this seamless body shaper shorts. So this is what it looks like. Should I have one with a small? I don't know, because my booty is kind of, you know. But this is, oh, this, oh, this is tight. Especially on the tummy part. Oh, this is going to get you snatched. Okay, I can't wait to try this on. Um, I'm about to do that right now. Uh, and then this. With, um, There's no name for this one, though. Pretty sure this is just like the, um. This is the butt lifter. It's like the one that I have now, but it's it goes all the way up to your rib cage area, like underneath your bra, so that way, like your rows, like your back rows isn't coming out for like the mid shorts one. So this is what that looks like. I'm so excited. Okay, um, video coming soon, just like, just an FYI. So I just took out my braids. I had um, cornrows in my hair. Oh my God, my head is just so bad. I just cannot wait to wash my hair. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wash my hair. But yeah, um, took out my braids. About to eat some fried white with some french fries and broccoli and then um, start doing my hair getting ready for tomorrow I like to do my hair and all that out the way now so that way um, I can focus on Katie and the rest of the day because this is like a whole process <laughs> and then I have to rebraid my hair and do all that so I need my hair to be dried by tonight when he goes to sleep so I can do that so yeah it's just a full-on day of self-care <laughs> All right, guys, so the food is at the oven. Um, here is Caden's lunch. He's gonna eat one of these. He, he loves fish and seafood, so he's definitely gonna devour this. I wasn't gonna give him too much fries because he had fries yesterday. And got him some broccoli. So yeah, we're about to eat. This is my portion right here. I'm just gonna eat one of those and then um, some more broccoli. Mine's is actually in the microwave right now. Oh.